Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch and today we are unboxing the Intex Cloud FX running on Firefox OS. It's available for just reason 1999. It comes with Firefox OS, a marketplace to install apps. Facebook also comes pre installed. You have a 3.5 inch display, 1 GHz single core processor, 2 megapixel camera. There are some more details on the back. It's a 2G smartphone with Wi Fi Edge and Bluetooth support. 1250 mAh lithium ion battery, you have Hindi and Tamil language support and a G sensor available on the phone. Now let's cut open the seals. This is by far the cheapest smartphone that is available in India right now, quite easily replacing the feature phones that we are used to in this segment. At the top of the box you can see the Intex Cloud FX in black color, I'll keep that aside. Let's have a look what else we get inside the box. So we have the warranty card right up top, there you see a service center list in there as well. Then you have a black headset, it's an in-ear style headset. We have seen these before as well, Intex branded right there. Then you have a micro USB to USB data syncing and charging cable. The ports do look good. Now Intex has packed literally everything you generally get with other smartphones which are priced higher. This is your USB wall charger rated at 500 milliampere. It takes in your USB data cable. And finally, we have the 1250 mAh lithium ion battery, which will power the phone. We'll check how it performs later on in our full review. And then you have the user manual, which will tell you how to use Firefox OS as well as the general use of the smartphone. So folks, here is the Intex Cloud FX. You have some specifications again, which we have already talked about. On the left of the device, you have the volume rocker, which does seem sturdy. Micro USB data syncing and charging port at the top, 3.5 module jack, as well as the power button, which is a little difficult to press. On the right, there's absolutely nothing, and you can notice the triple tone finish at the top, matte. Between, you see glossy. At the bottom, the microphone, space to open the back cover. You have the 2 megapixel camera right up top, Intex branding and Firefox OS branding at the bottom. Speakerphone is also at the bottom. There's a sort of textured finish at the back which does make the phone easier to hold. I'll just open up the back cover and we'll see the arrangement of the SIM card slots. It's a dual SIM phone as well. So you see the back cover is actually not that flimsy, it's quite solid. Here is the micro SD card slot so you can expand storage and you can use two full size SIM cards with this phone. It is a 2G smartphone. Now I'll plug in the battery and then we'll power on the phone for the very first time. The back cover fits in quite nice. It's powered by a 1 GHz processor. So we'll see how Firefox OS does with that. Especially with just 128 MB of RAM. Now we are powering the phone for the very first time. Let's take this plastic sheet off. So in the front there is no front facing camera first of all. Now this is seriously a budget smartphone so you won't expect that. You can see the Firefox OS branding, it's booting up. So you have a 3.5 inch HVGA display, at the top the main earpiece and then you have a capacitive home button as well. So that's everything about the front of the display and the phone has now booted up. I'll be back after setting it up. So you can see right here folks, we are at the home screen. On the first home screen, you do have folders or what Firefox likes to call smart collections, which group your apps together. And then these are the default apps that are pre-installed. You have Facebook, you have YouTube as well. Long tapping on any app gives you the option to move them or even uninstall them off the phone. So you can see the home button does work quite fine. It is not backlit. Now let's quickly jump into notification shade. Here are the different toggles which are fixed and getting into settings you do have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, internet sharing is also available. Now coming to notifications, you can show notifications on the lock screen. Now, as I said, Tamil and Hindi are also supported on the phone. I'll just show you the lock screen as well. So this is the default lock screen where you can jump into the camera as well as just unlock the device straight away. Notifications might also be shown there. You have about 67 MB of internal storage which is expandable. You can see it's the Intex Cloud FX and it's running Firefox OS straight off the bat. Now there are no major issues with scrolling, you can see that it's quite smooth, it's not laggy at all and you can easily reach the different navigation options. Long tapping the web screen gives you the option to change wallpaper, add smart collections but again you need to be connected to the internet. Now given the budget pricing, we don't expect the display to perform great, you can see a bit of distortion, brightness and colors. So the viewing angles are definitely not that wide but it's a vibrant display, I can say that at least. 
but being an HTML5 based OS, its reliance on an internet connection seems to be a bit heavy. We'll definitely check out. Here's our default dialer, a very minimalistic looking one indeed, larger buttons. Long tapping on the home button opens up your multitasking UI. You can jump into apps, you can even close apps as well. So folks, that was a first look at Firefox OS and the Intex Cloud FX as well. The phone actually has a very solid construction. It does feel very good to hold in the hand as well. There's a bit of lag in the UI, but the touch response of the phone is quite good. We'll be back with more on the Intex Cloud FX. Till then, you can watch our unboxing of the Micromax Volt A065 and the Carbon A12 Star. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Any questions about the Cloud FX or any other device, just hit us in the comment section or on phonebunch.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.